a lot of people Dude. are picking Pajeda to run him over. Really? Which I think is interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure shit. about that, man. Show me somebody that did something to him standing up. Because yes, I'm not, I'm not that's what I'm saying. I'm not, how, many, how many months ago did uh, Jamal Hill injure his kill? I'd like to have right a on more. The limit. I'd like to have a little more. Mm -hmm. Volkanovski, before the rematch with Islam Makachev, is in dispute as the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter alive, right? He he almost won that fight, a very close fight. Some people thought he could have won. Some people thought Islam could have won. But either way, he went up, fought the best fighter in the 155-pound division and got to a standstill with him. So at that point, you're looking at him. This motherfucker is one of the greatest yeah. of all time, probably the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter alive. And then he gets KO'd in the rematch he takes with 10 days' notice, which is right. crazy to crazy. take a fight like that with 10 days' notice. And then he gets KO'd in the fight with Topuria. And in two fights over the course of, what was it, seven months, eight months? Everything's different. Everything's Maybe you different. think his team did him a disservice running him out there. Yeah, but is that really his team or that's just him? You, you can't you, tell you the team shit. You do have the shit. final say. Yeah. You do have the final say. And fighters always think they can do anything. They always think they can do it. Yeah, I they always think they can pull it off. Because, like you said, like I mean, he pretty much at that weight might have been the best guy ever. When Manny Pacquiao got knocked out by Marquez, now they gave him a year, yeah, like a year off. Freddie, Freddie Roach, Roach said did. one year. That's right. You only take a whole year and off. You're not doing anything for a year. Man. It was one of the best one-punch knockouts in the history yeah, of the sport. And he followed with the overhand right. You see that? Pacquiao Bear, missed the right the hand. He knew he was coming. He just caught his rhythm. That's the hardest and most dramatic shot we've seen in the sport since Sergio Martinez knocked out Paul Williams on November 20. Man, he was piecing him up until mm -hmm. that point, too. And the consequences of the fight. You know, yeah. this is the th their third fight. You got yeah. like, Hindsight's twenty twenty though. I mean, he could have went in there and fucking knocked them out. I mean, what if he he got that head kick? I mean, he that 100 same head kick could have, but you're not. You're, you're not going to be able to compete against a guy like Makachev with no camp. That's not, a, you're yeah, not, that, that not going to be the same guy. This yeah. is my argument, like with Kamaru Usman and Hamzat. And everyone's like, Hamza beat Kamara. I'm like, sort so, of, sort of, of, kind of, 10 days notice Kamara. Yeah, because yeah, Kamara was winning in the third. Also, Kamara didn't have time to prepare. Yeah. Like, he doesn't know, he can't trust his gas tank. So yeah. when they, Fighting up I mean, a weight class. Fighting up a weight class, but Hamza was yeah. really legit yeah. 170 if he could make the weight. But at 170, Hamza's the most terrifying guy on the planet. Right. Because he's fucking horrific. He, he knocks you out with one punch. He's got crazy... Crazy speed. Yeah, I was about his to say his speed is what is underrated. Could off you, the charts. Could you trust him to make the weight, though? I no. Mean, can't trust him to do shit. Twice. Can't trust him to show up. The thing about that one weight cut that he missed by eight pounds, though, that's New York. And they stopped him from cutting the weight. You know how they do it. Like, yeah. they, Fucking New Yorkers. These, no, it's these, <laughs> some some athletic commissions, they don't, they intervene a no. little. They get it and they go, oh, no, he's not going to make it. Like, listen, they can make it. <laughs> you don't, it ain't going to look good, but they what can make they? it. UFC 300, Mall Dude. Hill, and Pajeda. <laughs> it's a fun fight. That's why I'm going to have goosebumps before that one starts. <laughs> like, woo, here we go. You know, guys, that you could watch all the future UFC and boxing pay-per-views at no extra cost if it weren't for the greed of Big Brother. Broadcasters? Well, here's the darkest secret they don't want you to know about. On iWatch Max, you could watch all PPVs with access to 12,000 live TV channels and latest movies and series. This allows you to cancel any cable subscription, save on pay-per-view fees while putting money back into your pocket. Crazy, right? For more information, visit iWatchMax.com or scan this QR code. How many months ago did uh, Jamal Hill injure his Achilles? Okay, so this was in July. Ooh. I'd like to have a right on more. The I'd like to have a little more. As sure as Achilles' injury fully healed ahead of UFC 300, it's not a problem at all. I don't think he gets enough props, first of all. I think he's a fucking beast. Besides, Jamal Hill's fucking yeah. dangerous. Watch the, the Glover. fight with Glover. Over. I he watched it the other day. Glover up. And, and Glover is fucking good. Piece him up like that on the feet. People underestimate him for some strange reason, I, and I don't understand it. I've, I've heard people talk about his power. Watch that Johnny Walker fight. I know the Johnny Walker fight. Yeah. It was like a hit by death. a sniper. The OSP fight. Yeah, yeah, man, he's, yeah. he's good, man. Bro, he's good. He's fucking dangerous. Show me somebody that did something to him standing up. Because I'm, yes. not, I'm not finding That's it. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm not finding it. That's what and I'm saying. I think Alex is going to be so um, confident. You know, shit happens. Alex is going to be so confident because of all his kickboxing and everything else that with these little gloves, I think Jamal's going to surprise him. He's going to fucking sharpshoot him. Jamal's a one-punch knockout striker at light heavyweight for sure, and he's a big, tall dude, and he knows movement. He's fucking dangerous, man. He's good at keeping his range. A lot of people dude. are picking Pajeda to run him over. Really? Which I think is interesting. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I'm not sure about that. Like the I'm not sure shit. about that, man. The thing about Pajeda, though, is he's ultra high level. People just think about only his power, 
and you only think about like because he's got that he's got the most insane touch of death. It's yeah. insane. It yeah. He just sleeps people with everything. When you see his movement and that sneaky shit like he does, his, where he gets that calf kick off, you don't it, see. It, yeah, you don't even see it you coming. Don't see shit, I was say man. That. You don't see shit. And when he checks his kicks, he doesn't check them. He gets his foot like a hacky sack position. Yeah. He, he lifts his shin up, so you're just sliding <laughs> under it. You ain't getting shit. And he's coming down with the right hand every time. Just, Fucking good. I think the speed of Jamal Hill is going to be the difference. As long as he has it and that Achilles doesn't hinder him. Yeah. Well, God damn it would suck if he came in at 70%. No, yeah. Shit, not 100. Because he's going to need to be 100. The thing is, there's got to be a lot of pressure to be UFC 300. Yeah. You know? And you might be, I can do it. I can do it. You know, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping it's 100. I just hope they for sure got him some stem cells. He's the world champ. He just relinquished yeah, yeah. his title. I mean, he's fighting for his title, essentially, right? Because he didn't lose. Oh. He got injured. When he did, I, bet, I bet he only gave it up because Yuri gave it up, too. And Yuri, who thought the fight was prematurely stopped, he wouldn't say it inside the octagon. Like right, he was just he said, like, yeah. Yeah, I like that. he said it could have continued. I hate when guys are bitching right afterwards or... They start talking about the injuries they had and everything. Like, that one was up. a cl that was a close one though. When you watch that one, you're like, ooh, you could have won or I two more. I, I thought it was a fair stoppage yes, too. I thought fair stoppage too. I just don't want <sighs> Jamal to be compromised in any way in that fight. Hayda does fight with his hands way low too, yeah. and he kind of like lures guys into these slugfests because he's got such insane counter power. His one loss, Jamal Hills from that fucking arm triangle, triangle Craig, from yeah, Paul, Paul Craig. Craig. That could happen Yo, to anybody. Paul Craig has one of the <laughs> most dangerous. Guards in any fucking division. Yeah, I period. I love, period. I love period. It. Full stop. Remember he caught Ankalaya. One second, did, yeah, no. <laughs> one second to go in the fight. One second to go. He catches him in a triangle. How does he got wins over Jamal Hill and Ankalaya? Right. That's it, how good insane, his guard right? is. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's winning the fight. To be honest with you. I do, and I like Alex. I think he's really. Going, I swear, I think he, he's winning. He does. Listen, I think it's a very dude, interesting. I, I think it's a pick 'em fight. Me too. It's, I, Me too. I can see a bunch of scenarios going both ways. I think people underestimate Jamal. The thing is, though, Jamal does stand with like more, almost like a boxing stance sometimes. I wonder how good he's going to be of getting away from the calf kick. That is such a primary weapon in Pajeda's because he's so fucking sneaky with it. And his is the best. And even though everybody knows that he's sneaky with it, it's still hard to, you can't defend it. You, but the one thing about Jamal, he's smart though. That. He's got all these combinations that he sets up that are based on your reaction to certain movements. And he's just got this very specific strategy. I'm going to kill that leg. And then you're fucked, and I hit really hard, and you're not going to be able to get out of the way. I don't think either of those guys are going for a takedown, to be honest. Jamal Hill or Alex? But Jamal no. would be more capable of taking Alex down yeah, and doing well on the ground.